Hey Cakenistas, here's a shorty of how to make my 2D fondant dinosaur. I started off with my drawing that was a stencil that I made on the computer and I'm going to use this stencil to mold and shape my dinosaur. I started off with the torso. I'm using green fondant. I literally laid it onto my drawing and shaped it to the drawing. Now I'm taking a ball of green fondant, make a little slice in it about halfway. I'm smoothing that down with another piece of fondant and then we're going to make the underside of the belly with a piece of lighter green fondant. Apply that on there with a little bit of water. The inside of the mouth is going to be a flat piece of coral colored fondant. The mouth is wide open so we're going to make some little indentations to show the roof of the mouth. Something's mouth is open like that, you're bound to see some stuff. So now we're going to make the teeny tiny white teeth. I also put the tongue in there and a little cheek flesh meaty part, I don't know what to call that. This is probably the most annoying part, just making those little teeny tiny triangle teeth, but it's definitely necessary. We're going to make some indentations for the nose and for the eye. And you didn't see this part, but then I put a small piece of yellow fondant into the eye socket. I moved on and did the legs and the arms the same way that I did the body. Just putting a piece of green fondant onto the stencil and shaping as I saw fit. As you can see those indentations that I made with my fondant tools really really helped to show the muscle in that dinosaur. I couldn't let this harden for as long as I wanted to because it had to go onto the cake but after a few little drawings and a couple little characteristics I can basically feel the hot breath from that dinosaur just roaring in my face. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this shirty. I'll see y'all soon. Bye Kicknistas.